Yes, yes, here we are in the brand new closet. We literally just finished building this about three months ago. Um, super excited. It's almost organized. It's not all the way there yet, but we're getting there little by little. I'll give you guys a peek at what's in here right now. This is one of like four closets. This is the main area outside from the holding area here. So like the way I kind of broke it down is this is like new arrivals. So like the new purple label um, tennis stuff, the purple label stadium reissue, um, which literally just hit. Obviously we have the black and white snow beach, drops uh, you know, uh, in a couple of days. A couple of the parkas. This I just haven't figured out where to put yet. This is one of my favorite designs. I think this was 2010. Um, Indian head pea coat. Um, up here, I, I actually cycle a lot too. So when I started road biking, I kind of went nuts and bought all of the uh, the old RLX and Polo Sport um, cycling jerseys. I literally have all of them. This is mostly varsities, souvenir jackets. So this was a hard piece from last year. This was one that came out in the States but then they killed it and they put this version out in the UK and this is the one that you really want. This, 88 Keys had this, I was pressing him for his so bad. I finally made a little deal with him where I got him to uh, come up off it, but then I ended up copying a second one. So 88, oh, it's reversible actually. So 88, if you're watching, you know, we can work out a deal so you can get your jacket back. There are some classics in here. Original P Wing sweatshirt, and obviously, we have the reissue here. This whole bag, the original uh, Snow Beach hoodie, the Snow Beach uh, USA pullover, uh, the original Snow Beach pant. It was a Wu Tang concert somewhere in the city. I just happened to be wearing the Snow Beach pullover. I think I knew Rizza and Meth already, but it was my first time meeting Ray, and we were backstage. And he was just wilding that I had, he was just bugging out that I had the piece on. He's like, where did you get that? And then afterwards, I'm like, yo, I need to commemorate this somehow. I need him to, you know, like do something. So I had him sign the, uh, sign the call. Uh, can you show it to us? It's, yeah, I don't know. It's right here, actually. No, actually, it's in, it's in the Lambo. He was in such awe that I had the piece. I kind of feel like that was one of the main building blocks of us being cool. Funny thing about this, um, I had to steal T.I.'s. T.I. went to Ralph in Beverly Hills one day, and I saw the whole ticket that said, you know, it was being held for T.I. It was the only size they had. So I'm like, yo, I need this. I need this right now for a shoot. They're like, well, you know, try to hold for T.I. So I kind of had to talk a little sweet talk, you know, grease a couple palms, and uh, convince them to sell me T.I.'s. Um, Sure. So, sorry, Tip. Um, but I made sure that they got him another one. They shipped him one from New York and he got it like the next day. I kind of call this like the annex. Uh, this is mostly accessories, uh, a lot of knits, leathers, hats, belts, scarves, you know, nicer shoes. A little bear montage. I, I know to do all these bears, I have like all the stuffed bears, I just throw them all in here. But yeah, this is kind of like the, the runoff of over there, but the Nick collection is crazy too. This actually is, is still in the whip from uh, the re release day. This is the infamous um, Snow Beach uh, signed by Ray. As far as I know, one of one. Only Snow Beach ever actually signed by the god Raekwon the Chef, um, as made famous in the Can It All Be So Simple video. Um, this was a super huge night for me, 2006, you know, as a fan and as part of this subculture. Um, you know, salute to him. Love.